Yo, Live Life fam, it's your boy Live Life 815. Coming at y'all with another video on this triumphant Thursday morning. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Wrestling Roll Up. The Wrestling Roll Up is going to be a series of short videos where your boy run down the latest news, rumors, and I'm going to be doing recaps of like pay-per-views and shows like WWE Raw, SmackDown, AEW, etc. Things of that nature. But if y'all haven't, Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, like this video to get your boy in the algorithm. Cash app is somewhere in a video in case y'all want to support the channel. Let's get into it. To start off, this is breaking news in the world of AEW. AEW president Tony Khan has just announced that AEW Dynamite will be moving from TNT to TBS in January 2022. Not only was the move to TBS announced today, but AEW president Tony Khan also announced that AEW will be airing a new show on Friday nights called AEW Rampage. Khan released the following statement regarding the move to TBS. As a lifelong wrestling aficionado who is privileged to present AEW to longtime and new fans alike, it means a lot to me, personally and professionally, to share the news that All Elite Wrestling will call TBS home beginning in 2022. The history of wrestling in the United States cannot be told without acknowledging the contributions of TBS, which as WTBS years ago delivered wrestling to the Southeast and eventually to a massive national audience. TBS has the same passion for wrestling today, but will offer AEW and our fans more prime time programming, content and global opportunities that will establish TBS as the world's undisputed destination for all elite wrestling. So AEW Rampage will be debuting this year on Friday, August 13th, and it's going to go head to head with Friday Night Smackdown. Comment below and let me know who y'all think is going to win the Friday Night Wars. On to our second topic of the day, following that abysmal of a match between The Miz and Damian Priest, where they had zombies come out to the ring, y'all, at WrestleMania Backlash. Following that horrible match, it looked like your boy The Miz has torn his ACL. Dave Meltzer stated the following. He tore his ACL, but we don't know the severity of the tear. The last I heard is that they hoped there was a partial tear, so that may not be that serious. If it's a full tear, you know that's surgery in probably seven, eight, nine months. And at 40, it's not the best thing in the world. He'll come back from it, I'm sure he will, but that's a lot of time off. Hopefully, for the best. It's a partial, and he can make a quicker recovery. But the injury is legit. Moving on to my speculation. If you guys watched Monday Night Raw this past Monday, then you've seen Alexa invited Natalia and Tamina to Alexa's playground. And it really does not look like she is targeting them or the women's tag team champions. I still think she's going for Nia Jax. They are, for, they, they are best friends in real life. Or Nikki Cross. She has just surfaced back on WWE programming. And I think we're going to see one of those feuds, one of those potential feuds, either um, Alexa versus Nia Jax or Alexa versus Nikki Cross or Alexa and Nikki Cross may team up and go for the championships. But where oh where is Bray Wyatt when you need him? Please come back. And he sent out a simple text simply asking if we miss him yet. Yes, we do live life fam. <laughs> but if y'all enjoyed this first episode of the wrestling roll up like this video to get your boy in the algorithm comment below let me know y'all thoughts about everything discussed in this video cash app is somewhere in the video just in case y'all want to support live life